Hi everyone, this is Aru NG. Quickly, I want to touch on this uh, trending news regarding a pastor in Nigeria that was sacked by Oyedikbo because the guy was not making um, a return or whatever schedule that was laid before him, so the guy was didn't meet up. So because of that, he was sacked by the church. And um, at this time, a lot of people begin to raise their voices and a lot of people condemn what happened. I personally, um, I'm not a church person, but I, I'm not saying I'm not a follower of Christ. I'm a follower of Christ, but I'm not a church person. I'm not limited to division as a denomination. I can go to any church. I, I pray whenever I'm led to pray or to join any service. So the thing is... Uh, we know in Christianity today, what we see is the, uh, the division in Christianity is, uh, I don't think there is any other religion sector that has such division, like what we have in the uh, Christian, the Christian uh, camp today. But let's look at, it, uh, look at it this way. Is the man right? Is the uh, Yedeko right to do what he did? Or is he wrong? You can't you can hardly say if he's right or wrong uh, because I read the comment somebody said that Jesus Christ said any tree which is not um, uh, productive that should be cut down so but uh, I, I will say that is a very wrong quote at this time because that is not what Christ was so you can link up such a um, uh, statement by Christ to this uh, particular incident and uh, if if I will say if the man is right to do what he did depends on what they operate if it's a normal business as usual the man has a right to sack whoever is whoever he employed to do a certain job and has been unable to meet up he has the right to sack the person if it's a normal regular job but if it has to do if it's a, 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 it's a christ if it has to do with the ministry of jesus i would say that one is uh, somehow somehow because we don't understand what christianity is at all from what I was saying, I'm not talking a lot of uh, those pastors, they host the power of God. Having the power of God is different in entirely from knowing God. You can host the power and you don't know God. Satan has the power of God, but yet he's an enemy of God. The Bible says when Satan was pushed, cast down from heaven, the things that was given to Satan, God didn't take a, a, a pain from him. You see, when even when he tempted Jesus Christ, he told Jesus Christ, all those things you see belongs to me. If you bow before me, I will give them to you. Jesus Christ did not argue. A lot of people today will say, no, Christ owned everything. Jesus Christ did not argue because he knew everything was rightly given to him, to, to Satan. So, Christ did not employ anybody. A pastor cannot be employed. A, an anointed man of God cannot be employed by anoint, another anointed man of God. No. You can only be employed to do a job. You can't be employed to do your work. Work is different from job. But today we don't understand the difference. So we take everything as job. You, you can't sack an anointed man of God. You can't sack him because you don't own him. He belongs to God. He belongs to Christ. So all these young men and women you are moving around, preaching all kind of propaganda, preaching things they don't understand. And at the end of the day, things like this happen. And when they see that things are not going that way, they go extra man to make things work for themselves. At the end of the day, creating more confusion in the heart of people. You don't come out and say you were sad. If you are a pastor in the first place, if you are a worker in the vineyard of God in the first place, you 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 can't be sacked. You can't. The Bible says when Peter, uh, when the apostles, they left the uh, the upper room, 
they started preaching you miracles people started following the thousands upon thousands of people he didn't go he didn't force anybody the word of god has the power to bring people to him and whoever that come we like to appreciate god except you were put in there to just you know collect money from people extort people then remit it to the to the, to the headquarters and which you you were unable to do that but if uh, for me as a believer, you don't sack a, pers- a pastor because uh, he's not raising much fun. I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just trying to uh, bring a different shade between what job and what work is. What I see here is what I call job, not work. Because in the ministry, if you are working, you are not employed. That's why I see a lot of people how have... Anyway, let me not go into that. That is another topic. But... Um, let not comment and uh, contain what we don't understand. You don't know how that guy got in there. If God put in there, if Christ put in there, you don't know. You don't know how he got in there. So condemn him, whoever you want to condemn for me, I don't think it makes difference. Because anybody can come and say, I'm a man of God. But only God knows those who truly fear him. So let those who are lamenting lament because when things soft for them you won't hear about them don't create problem for yourself the things you can correct correct them the things you can correct just let them be i pray god bless you stay blessed